Assalamu alaikum kids hope that you all are staying healthy this is your english teacher with another interesting english lesson my dear kids do you know that a person's most useful asset is not a head full of knowledge but a heart full of kindness an ear ready to listen and a hand willing to help others we can't help everyone but everyone can help someone so my dear students our today's chapter is all about kindness and purity so let's open unit number 2 earth watch on page number 10 basically on this page two articles are given so we are going to start the first article they are just like us my husband and i both love apes my husband works for a national park in africa and his job is to protect all the animals in the park I am studying apes called bonobos. They are very human-like, cute, and funny. Now here, a woman called Ilan is telling about her husband's and her profession that they both work in a national park in Africa. Apes have to face big problems all over Africa. Humans have destroyed much of the forest where they live. They have built roads into the forest too. They cut down the trees and take away the timber on big trucks. Ape hunters. travel into the forest on the same roads to kill the apes and sell the meat in the market now here lan is telling about a big problem that is going on in africa that hunters kill the apes and sell their meat in the market tich a baby ape has lost his mother so i am bottle feeding him we are keeping about 7 baby bonobos at the ape center in the middle of the forest all their mothers are dead when tich is bigger he can go and live with a group of apes in the forest here now here ilan is telling about a baby ape tich that he has lost his mother and due to this ilan is taking care of this baby ape All right kids now let's move towards the next article turning on the tap I am an engineer and I live in Ethiopia we are putting in a new water pipe to carry water from my spring in the hills to a village when it is finished the pipe will be 11 kilometers long at the moment the villagers have to walk 11 kilometers into the hills each day to collect water and then carry it back to the village in pots on their heads Now here an engineer is telling about a problem that is going on in his village in Ethiopia that the villagers have to walk 11 kilometers each day to collect water so he's putting a water pipe to carry water from a spring in the hills to the village water aid in britain gave us some money for the pipeline the villagers are doing all the hard work themselves they are digging long trenches in other places they are building banks to hold up the pipe In a few places we have to cut through the rock. Now here he is telling about a water aid in Britain that they gave him some money for the pipeline. He is also telling about the villagers hard work. In the end there will be drinking water in the village. If the villagers don't waste any water there will be enough to grow fruit and vegetables too. They are really looking forward to TTD tap turn on day. Now here he is telling that by doing this work there will be plenty of water in the village. All right kids now as a reading and explanation is done so now it's time to learn some new words from unit number 2 earth watch. Let's move towards the first word. Building. A structure with a roof and walls such as a house or factory. Let's move towards the next word. Ethiopia it is Africa's oldest independent country and its second largest in terms of population let's move towards the next word destroyed to reduce something to nothingness or to take away its powers and functions let's move towards the next word protect keep safe from harm or injury Now it's time to grow your vocabulary from unit number 2 earth watch. So let's move towards the first vocabulary meaning. Lost, unable to find one's way, not knowing one's whereabouts. Let's move towards the next word. Protect, keep safe from harm or injury. 
Let's move towards the next word. Ape, a mammal that has long arms and no tail and that is related to monkeys. Let's move towards the next word. Collect, bring or gather together a number of things. Now let's move towards the last word. Middle. The point or position at an equal distance from the sides, edges or ends of something. Now it's time to make some sentences from unit number 2 earth watch. So let's move towards the first word. Collect, bring or gather together a number of things. The example sentence for the word collect is she went downstairs to collect her books. Let's move towards the next word. Walk. Move at a regular pace by lifting and setting down each foot in turn. The example sentence for the word walk is My sister can walk and run. Now let's move towards the next word. Vegetables. Vegetables are parts of plant that are consumed by humans or animals as food. The example sentence for the word vegetable is, I have a vegetable garden in my backyard. Now let's move toward the next word, travel. Make a journey typically of some length. The example sentence is, he travels regularly for business. Alright kids, now here we have one text exercise on page number 11, exercise number 2. In this exercise, some questions are given from both articles. Now let's start answering the questions from the first article. The first question is, why do you think Elan and her husband live in the forest? The answer is, Elan studies apes and her husband protects them. The next question is, why do hunters kill the apes? The answer is, the hunters kill the apes to sell the meat. The next question is, why is Elan bottle feeding Titch? The answer is, Titch is too small to eat fruit or leaves. Now here we have some more questions with the next article. Let's start answering the questions. The first question is, where will the water for the village come from? The answer is, the water comes from a spring in the hills. Question number 2 is, how long will the pipeline be? The answer is 11 kilometers. Question number 3 is, which daily job won't the villagers do in future? The answer is, the villager won't walk 11 kilometers to collect water. The last question is, what will the villagers be able to grow? The answer is, they will be able to grow fruit and vegetables. Now you have to do this work neatly in your notebook. Alright kids, today we are going to read and write a comprehension. What is a comprehension? Comprehension means to understand. I understand what is read to me and what I read. Today our comprehension topic is very interesting. Elephants. Elephants are the largest living land mammals. Elephants can weigh up to 11,000 pounds. The African elephants is even bigger weighing as much as 20,000 pounds. They love to eat and drink. Their favorite fruits are grass, twigs and fruit. So now let's move towards some questions from this comprehension. The first question is, do you know any largest living land mammal? Question number two is, what do elephants love to do? Question number three is, what are their favorite foods? Next question is, write the antonym of bigger. Last question is, write the past tense of eat. So now it's time to start the grammar work. Today we have a very interesting grammar topic, verb. A verb shows action or state of being like running, dancing, thinking, dreaming or laughing. Now here are some good verbs like offering five time prayers, helping your mom or cleaning your house, watering plants or taking care of your plants. 
Now here are some bad verbs also like yelling or shouting or making fun of others.